Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a rational expression. This problem was suggested by one of my viewers, but I can't remember who suggested the problem. So if you are the one, please let me know, write a comment, and I'll be looking for the previous comment in which this problem was suggested. I've also seen this problem in a couple different books. Um, they were written in Russian. And this is, you know, like an interesting type of problem. You'll probably see it in different places too. Anyways, so we're given that A over B plus C plus B over A plus C plus C over A plus B is equal to 1. And based on this, we're supposed to evaluate A squared over B plus C plus B squared over A plus C plus C squared over A plus B. Obviously, none of the denominators should be 0. So A plus B, A plus C, and B plus C should all be different from zero. All right, I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to subtract one from both sides uh, in the given expression so that we can set it equal to zero. So now we can write it as a over b plus c plus b over a plus c plus c over a plus b minus 1 is equal to 0. Obviously, from here we need to make a common denominator. Things are going to be a little messy, but I'm trying to keep, I'll try to keep it organized. So A must be multiplied by A plus C, A plus B to make a common denominator, and then B must be multiplied by B plus C and A plus B, and C must be multiplied by B plus C and A plus C, and then at the end, minus, we're going to have the three-way product A plus B, a plus C and B plus C. And all of that divided by A plus B, A plus C, and B plus C, and the whole thing is equal to zero. Great. You know, this is nice because th this just means that the numerator is equal to zero, not the denominator. So in order to simplify this, I'm going to look at each term. The terms are separated by plus and minus signs here and write each result in uh, in different rows because obviously this is, this is not going to fit in one row. So let's go ahead and for example, I can just multiply this and then multiply this by A. So I'm going to distribute it and I, I'll do that in two steps. So the first row is going to be A times A squared plus AB plus AC plus BC. And then the second row is going to be B times AB plus b squared plus ac plus bc and then the third one is going to be c times ab plus ac plus bc plus c squared so basically you have a square of each term and then everything else is like ab ac and bc so they kind of have something in common right awesome and then the last one uh, is going to be a minus sign so i'm going to put a minus sign here and let's take out a plus b and the second factor is going to be a plus ab plus ac plus bc plus c squared. Okay, awesome. Now let's go ahead and simplify each one of these and we'll add it together. The first row is going to be a cubed plus a squared b plus a squared c plus a b c. Second one is going to be a b squared plus b cubed plus a b c plus b squared c. The third one is going to be a b c plus a c squared plus b c squared plus c cubed. And notice that every one of these has a cube in it, so uh, we have that kind of symmetry. Uh, the last one is going to be with a minus sign, a squared b plus a squared c plus a b c plus a c squared plus a b squared. And then we have a b c plus b squared c and b c squared. So it's kind of like that. Now we're going to add these all together and let's see what we can simplify. Awesome. Notice that everything in the last row on the right hand side has a minus sign in front of it because we're going to negate everything using this root property. So for example, a squared b is going to cancel out with this one. Don't worry, don't worry about the minus sign. That just means uh, zero. Uh, a squared c is going to cancel out with this one. And then a b c is going to cancel out with this one. Great. a c squared. Do I have an a c squared? Yes, I do. a b squared. I do have that. A, B, C, I have another A, B, C here. I have plenty. And then I have the B squared C. And finally, B, C squared. Pretty much everything inside the parentheses on the last row canceled out. And that left 
uh, we are left with a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus a b c all right great this is not factorable so don't worry about it but guess what this is equal to zero because we set our original expression equal to zero remember so this should equal zero and that's important we're going to save that for now because later on we're going to use it now let's go back to our um, the given expression that we're try trying to evaluate so instead of the ABC, we have their squares in the numerators. So let's go ahead and simplify that expression. We have a squared over b plus c plus b squared over a plus c plus c squared over a plus b. Now to simplify this again, I need to make a common denominator. And if I do, I get a squared multiplied by, and again, I can kind of do this in different rows. So let me go ahead and, you know, just write it in different rows. And I'm focusing on the, de um, not the denominator, I'm focusing on the numerator. So numerator is gonna look like this. The numerator is going to look like uh, a squared times a plus c, a plus b, and then b squared times b plus c, a plus b, and then c squared times a plus c and b plus c. So you notice that if you're multiplying by c squared, then the c appears twice. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this in rows again. Um, we have the first, okay, so we have a squared times a squared b plus ab. Not, okay, that's not a squared b, it's just a squared. a squared times a squared plus ab plus ac plus bc. And then I have b squared times ab plus b squared times ac plus bc. And then I have c squared times ab plus bc plus ac. And then finally I have c squared. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and simplify each one. Uh, this is going to give us a to the fourth power plus a cubed b plus uh, a cubed c and then a squared bc. This is going to give me a b cubed plus b to the fourth power plus a b squared c. I'm just going to write them in alphabetical order. Plus b cubed c. Last one is going to give me a b c squared plus b c cubed plus a c cubed plus c to the fourth power. Okay, and now we have uh, three terms and we're just going to add these together. Now notice that 4 times 3 is 12. So we're going to end up with 12 terms but we're gonna split it into four groups. Uh, so, and the, the idea is to make it factorable. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at that, how that happens. Uh, so I'm going to take from here, uh, a to the fourth power plus a cubed b plus a cubed c. So that's gonna be the first three terms that I choose. Let me change the color so you can kind of see the different terms, different terms that I pick. Then I'll be going with a b cubed plus b to the fourth power plus uh, cb cubed. So I'm kind of like putting the two cubes together, like a cubed b and a cubed c, uh, b cubed a and b cubed c, so on and so forth. Hopefully you get the idea. And then um, I'll be getting, let's see, um, the next trio is gonna be a c cubed plus b c cubed. Notice that they both have c cubed, that's why I pick them. And then that they go with c to the fourth. And finally, everything else um, that's left over. Uh, and those are the terms that look like a squared b c. So it's going to be like a squared b c, a b squared c, and a b c squared. Awesome. Now, um, we can kind of factor this out because now we have a common factor, which is a cubed. That's going to be a plus b plus c. With the b cubed, this is going to be a plus b plus c. With the c cubed, this is going to be a plus b plus c. So far, so good, right? And then the last one is going to be a b c multiplied by a plus b plus c. This means that we have a plus b plus c multiplied by a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus a b c. And yay, this is cool because we know that this is equal to zero. Awesome. So that means our product is also equal to zero, which is what we were trying to evaluate. That means that our expression is equal to zero. All right, great. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method now. 
and obviously my second method is going to be shorter and less painful all right so now we are given this again so let's kind of restart the process we are given that this is equal to one now instead of trying to make a common denominator because that kind kind of complicates things right all right i'm going to multiply this expression both sides by a plus b plus c so that's what i'm going to do and why am i doing it because that gives us the answer you'll see in a little bit why this works now when i distribute this uh, here's what i would like to notice i'm going to distribute the a over a plus b plus c so it's going to look like this a squared plus a times b plus c i want to leave it as is i don't want to distribute the a you'll see in a little bit why and then b squared plus uh, b times a plus c and that's divided by a plus c and then i'm going to distribute the c times c which is c squared plus uh, c times a plus b and that is divided by a plus b and again this is equal to a plus b plus c because we multiply one by that awesome now we're going to go ahead and separate this into two fractions as you know this can be written as the sum of two fractions like this and like that so it becomes a squared over b plus c plus b plus c times okay i'm gonna write the a first a times b plus c over b plus c and then plus b squared over a plus c plus b times a plus c divided by a plus c and then c squared over a plus b plus c times a plus b over a plus b i hope this makes sense and now we can cross out b plus c because it's not zero a plus c a plus b and now let's go ahead and write this down in a simpler way and now we're going to set it equal to the right hand side which is a plus b plus c so we can write this as a squared over b plus c plus b squared over a plus c plus c squared over a plus b and then plus a plus b plus c because this is what we get from here a plus b plus c and as you know this is equal to a plus b plus c a plus b plus c cancels out leaving us with our original expression on the not the original one the one that, that of course the uh, the expression that we've been trying to evaluate and that becomes zero and this brings us to the end of the second method and to the end of this video well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye